Good morning everybody, happy Easter. Um, I'm doing the software today, so we'll see how we get on. I hope you've not all ate too many Easter eggs over the weekend and today. Um, we're gonna be talking about immune boosting foods. Now, I could go through a list, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna go through um, a few breakfasts and I'll explain the reasons why these are immune boosting. So I'm just going to wait a wait few minutes to get people online and see how many people are going to join us. If you're with me right now, if you can write me a message, that would be greatly appreciated, or any questions as well. I'll wait a few minutes. Good morning, Lisa. Hope everything's well at your house and your mum's settled in well. Hope you've not ate too many eggs over the weekend. Katie, are you there yet? Hello, the other Lisa. Hello, Yasmin. Yasmin. Sorry, it's my dyslexia moment. <laughs> Have we got any questions, guys, this morning as well? Hello, beautiful Denise. If you do have any questions on breakfasts, just send them across so I can read them whilst we're going along. Hello Katie. I'm seeing who else is there. Hello Yvette. I think I've got a little bit of a delay going on so just bear with me. <laughs> You'll be home soon, Mavette, from Spain. I hope it's sunny there. We've got a little bit of a windy day here. It's, it's a lot colder this, this morning than it is over the weekend. Right, guys, I'm going to get started. I know there's a few more people that are coming because they've been talking to me this morning. So I've been constantly sending messages and people responding back to me from half past seven this morning. So... Either ways, if they can't join us straight away, they can um, watch later on today. So, last time I said we were going to talk about immune boosting foods. So, like I say, if you want to ask me any questions, fire it away whilst I look at, on the laptop that's in front of me. So, better place to start is breakfast. Now, some of us like breakfast in the morning and some of us don't. Now, there, be, there can be a, a loads of different reasons why people don't want to eat breakfast. Um, and that can be down to the fact that they've ate the wrong foods the following day. Um, they've ate really late at night. It can be down to the medication reasons as well. So what do I mean by medication reasons? So some medications can make you feel very sick and drowsy in the morning time, which stops people from eating first thing, which results then is them getting sugar cravings and then binging out later on. So if you do have that problem, some of these immune boosting foods could make such a massive difference to you. But more importantly, basically, if you want to speak to us directly, just give us a call and I can tailor make something to suit you. So we're going to talk about grapefruit. Now, it's not one of my favourites. I know it's my husband's favourite, but it's a great fat boosting vitamin minerals within that fruit so basically it will stop you from craving sugar later on in the day and more importantly it does fill you up i know it sounds crazy a, a, you know a fruit of this big but when you break that down it's breaking down all the fat within within the body so that makes a massive difference for you craving sugar later on 
it's also um, basically got, um, it promotes the appetite later on. So when you go to eat another food, it's burning that fat down. It also improves your heart. It also um, reduces the risk of kidney stones. Now, a lot of men in their 30s end up getting kidney stones. And there's a re amount of reasons for that. Excess alcohol um, and not drinking enough water and living in a fight and flight response. So by just eating grapefruit in the morning and drinking a pint of water with a slice of lemon in it, you'll be astounded at the difference that, that will make preventing from kidney stones. With all of these breakfast dishes that I'm saying, I would say to you when you get up first thing in the morning, the first thing that you should do is to have a glass of water, okay? Now, some people say to me, well, I don't like the taste of water, it's boring. Uh, you know, I'd rather have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. I'm not saying that you can't have your coffee and your tea, but first of all, have that, that pint of water with that slice of lemon. Now, a different way of doing that is, is that basically you can actually put the water in your fridge at night time with some lemons, with some limes, and to really give it a zing is ginger. Now, ginger, again, is an antioxidant. It boosts the immune system. It prevent, prevents you from getting any disease and illnesses. So by having it within that water, and first thing in the morning, it will put some warmth through your tummy and it will get your bowel to move, which, you, as you all know, and plus as the poo fairy, is very, very, very important is to get that bowels moving. And again, by you going to the toilet, that will stop you from craving sugar later on. The other really, really great and boosting immune food is kiwi. Now, myself and Chioni love kiwi. It has so many properties and it's a really ugly fruit. And most people don't know what to do with kiwi because it ferments really quickly, which is another reason why it's so good to break down in the digestion system. So if you have a fast or slow transitional time, which means basically that you're, you feel that you're sluggish, Kiwi is a really good way of basically boosting everything and getting it moving, alongside with some antioxidant blueberries alongside that. It also aids with the digestion, like I've said. It also improves in um, eye health. It lowers your blood pressure. It lowers the fat in the blood as well. And also there's studies that have been found that lung health studies have found kiwi helps reduce the wheezing. So Lisa, something for you. Um, you know, for, for asthma and so on, kiwi is one of the boosting foods that you can do. And also, if you're going out on a long run, so, it, you know, when you're doing your 60 minutes exercise a day, if you have kiwis like 20 minutes before, this will help you perform. And with your asthma and with hay fever season at the moment, we're going to have, with the pollen count quite high, this will help prevent the sneezing and the coughing as well. Oh, who else have I got? Hello, Jade. Hello, Bing. Hello, Colin. Hello, Adrian. Hello, Seb. Hello, Amanda. I'm sorry if I keep looking over. It's because I'm looking at the laptop as well. Any of you guys got any questions so far? How am I doing? Am I talking too quickly? tried to read a message at the moment so the other thing that really I find that I um, find that's really good is live yogurt now I know some of my clients can't have dairy so you can have alternatives you can have soya yogurt you can have coconut yogurt and this is great as I mentioned before with blueberries and toasted almonds with magnula honey so again hay fever season and immune boosting this is packed with nutrients, antioxidants, it boosts the immune system, and it's easy to make, and it tastes great. Now, you can have that separately. Um, there's another option that you can do, plus the beauty breakfast. A lot of my clients know about the beauty breakfast. So you can get gluten-free oats, yogurt, or alternative dairy-free yogurt, um, dates, walnuts, prunes, and you can have mixed berries in there as well if you want to. And then what you do is you mix it all together, put it in a tub um, the night before, 
put it in the fridge, let it ferment overnight, and then what you have to do is take it out in the morning, um, and then you can, it's down to consistency. So when you look at it, you'll be like, mm, it doesn't look very appealing. So what you need to do is, because it'll be really thick and it'll be fermenting, you need to add either some more yogurt to it, or you can put some hot water in there so it makes it hot. Mix it all together, and this is great to again basically to give you lots of energy and if you have this type of breakfast this could keep you going till you know two or three o'clock in the afternoon um, and the other options that you can do is that you can add different fruits in different days so if you've got a big family like I have I make a massive batch of it make two or three days worth and then basically change that over um, and then basically it, it, it lasts you for that period of time, but much, make sure that you refrigerate it every single time. Hello. Hello, Kelly. <laughs> so next one is hot option. Now this is great for some of the ladies that are going through the menopause like myself, okay? Um, it's wholemeal sunflower seeded bread, or you can use soda bread. Um, if you want me to send you some recipes over for different alternative soda breads, I can do that as well. So, chilli, coriander and scrambled egg on top of mashed, mashed avocado. Um, so, what you do is you toast your bread first of all, um, chop your avocado, mash it up with a fork. Um, I like to put a little bit of lemon and lime within there and lots of cracked black pepper. Put that to one side, whilst the toast is toasting, whether you've got it in your cooker, underneath the hob, or you've got it in your toaster, get your scrambled egg. If you, I prefer to do it on top of the hob, not in the microwave, but some people like to do things in the microwave. If you do do it in the microwave, be careful not to overcook it, okay? So crack two eggs, put a little bit of milk in there, um, dice your chilli up, you can either saute it within a pan, okay, and with some um, sesame seed oil as well. Mix it all together. Chop, if you've already got chopped, um, chopped parsley or coriander at one side, bung it in there or pull it off your plants that you've got in your window like we have at home. And then basically mix it in with a scrambled egg. Cook it on the hob for it. Probably takes about two to three minutes, if that. Then leave it there because if you overcook the scrambled egg, one it tastes like rubber and it doesn't taste very nice but if you leave it so it's a little bit wet it will continue cooking in the pan and the same if you do it in the microwave as well take it out leave it mix it together and you'll be amazed what happens and then basically i put some sea salt on there and um, himalayan salt as well get the toast out you can either have one or two slices put the avocado on the bottom of it and then put the scrambled egg on the top. It's absolutely delicious. Um, I have that at least twice a week and that keeps me going. It really boosts your immune system. It stops you from getting sugar cravings massively. It stops you from overeating. And it's also high in vitamin C, vitamin A. And also if you've got any joint pain or inflammation of the body, it reduces all of that. Um, and as I'm doing a lot of studying at the moment whilst we've got this time off with Krona, um, I find it as great as brain food. It keeps me going. Um, I've not got my husband Boo coming in and bringing me food in because he, he'll come in or ask me if I want anything and I'm still full for my breakfast at the beginning of the day. It's warm and filling as well. Um, it's also great for basically all the fats that we need within the body. A lot of people are scared by fat. You shouldn't be. Fats are so important. And that's the problem that we have with most foods that are in the supermarket is that we're grabbing packaged foods all the time and we're avoiding some of the foods that we're unknown of or we don't know how to use them. And when that happens, basically, then you start eating the wrong foods and you start craving sugar and salts because what's in that food is sugar and salt and there's no natural products in there. Um, it's also antibacterial as well. Now, that is breakfast over. I just want to see if there's any messages on here asking me any questions at all. Bin, you like the grapefruit one, yeah? Um, 
Um, Adrian, Adrian, what does that say, Boo? Sorry, I've got a list here and I'm just reading it. So, nut butter. So, Adrian, what is it that you want to know about the nut butter? Is it how to make it or different brands? Yeah, so, yeah, so replacement avocado, you can use a nut butter. Um, I'd also be aware of the nut butters that you buy. Um, make sure that they haven't got palm oil in them. Um, for good brands of basically like a peanut butter or nut butter, they, they, they can be quite expensive. So, but you only need a little bit of it. But, I mean, almond butter is, is absolutely gorgeous as an alternative. And the other one that I like is, which is great sources of potassium, is based what I had this morning to be honest, is some soda bread, toasted the soda bread, got um, a banana. I actually like to put butter on my bread, bread it's your option, no margarine please. Um, and then basically put butter on the, on the toast so it melts in, chop the banana up, then I put some Himalayan salt in there as well, and then cut it up and toast it. Hello Sabrina, hello Marie. Marie, have you got any questions for me? You normally got hundreds for me. Let me have a look. Now, for our children of the household, now lots of you have got kids and struggling to get them to eat breakfast in the morning, especially now they've been eating chocolate. So let's discuss this. Now, what I would be saying, I know it's easier said than done because I've got three of them. <laughs> and this morning it's been uh, like pulling out teeth this morning, getting them to do their chores and so on, but we've got them to do it. Um, and the first thing that Vigo said to me is, can I have my Easter egg, mummy? Now, you might think that I'm being awful, but the answer is no. Um, the reason being is if, he, if kids to have chocolate first thing in the morning, their behaviour throughout the day is going to be awful, okay? Um, they're going to crave even more sugar. So it's really important to get in their little bellies some really decent food. So, for instance, um, she only had, the, which we talked about earlier, I chopped up some kiwi and some blueberries just on a plate, little small plate, and that was enough for her. And then, because she's a grazer like me, and she'll want something later on, she'll want to have um, brunch. Vigo, on the other hand, would not have any of it. He was having a meltdown, and, and basically we stuck to our guns. Yeah, I've got it. <laughs> um, it was another question. And literally what I did was I sat him down and, 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 I, and I just explained to him how it was going to make him feel and how it was going to affect his tummy and how he was making me feel that he was making me feel sad because of the way that he was reacting. And he then listened to me and understood that, okay, mummy's looking sad and being felt that he was not being her because he wasn't getting his chocolate so i explained to him the reasons why then he came back at me and was like well mommy not if i just have a little bit of that chocolate and as i said to him we you've got to do deals we do lots of deals in our house later on you can have some chocolate 12 o'clock you can have some chocolate so he helped me put together a banana toasty for him and since he's had his banana toasty, there's not been one mention of chocolate, which is amazing. And I know that will keep him full till probably about half past 12, and he will feel great for it. Biana, Biana was up at crack of dawn, um, and he was really good. He didn't ask for any chocolate. He came down and had his Weetabix, as he always does. And, and he said to Chen, you've not had your water yet. You need to drink your water. And uh, she was like, no, I want squash in it. No, you better drink your water. But she, she did, she did have her water in the end. The other option that we can talk about and is cottage cheese. Now, cottage cheese is something whether you like it or you don't like it, but 
you don't need a lot of it to make a massive difference to your immune system okay and basically ham and cottage cheese are probably about that much okay so two spoons worth that's all you need um, with some flaxseed oil okay mix it together and this is another thing that will boost your immune system and get rid of anti-inflammatory if you're going on a detox if you're feeling under the weather it will boost you as well um, another th great thing is basically a juice um, juices are great um, at this time of year not in the winter months okay because what happens in the winter months is our blood thickens up which means that we hold on to toxins for a lot longer and our transitional time slows down so we need basically juices at this time of the year because our blood's a lot thinner and it quickly goes through the system quickly which means that we get the antioxidants and the minerals really quick so something like um, pineapple juice it down and um, whether that's um you've got a juicer or a mix or blender blend it all down with some banana okay um and you can put some raspberries in there as well blitz it down put it get the kids to join in with this as well because when the kids join in you can get them to taste it along the way so they can understand the different tastes but also the different nutrients and minerals that they're getting in. And it's fun and it's exciting and they're making a little bit of mess as well at the same time. Um, they only need at least 250 ml. They don't need any more than that because it's too much. It's too much on anybody. And that's the problem when you buy um, fruit juice in the market shelves because basically it's full of other things, okay? It's full of sugars. So that's why, you know, if I was to, to buy fruit juice in this house, it would be gone within a morning. It it will go really quickly. So when the, you do it yourself, you only need a little bit of it and you feel so much better as well. Another choice of juice would be um, one of my favourites, and Boos just sent me a message, but he's took the words out of my mouth, is lime. Now, don't look back at me and think oh that sounds awful lime beetroot and okra now if you don't know what okra is ladies fingers okay and you would be foot you be you would think that these foods weren't available they are every single one is available i went to my corner shop and picked up some okra some lime a massive pineapple if boo goes and gets the pineapple to show us how big the pineapple is that i bought i couldn't believe how big it was it's this big um and what you do is you get the pineapple you blitz it all down okra you put how many fingers do you put in boo you put two fingers in okay or ladies fingers and limes it's really down to how much zing you want in so i like to put two limes in there the other thing is basically the beetroot now depending on how earthy you want that to be and whether you've got you need to get either um beetroot that hasn't got vinegar on and you can get them pre-pack it or you can actually do the beetroot yourself and you put it in a pan you stew it first of all peel it obviously and then basically take the skin and stuff off and then basically put it in your juicer blitz it all down you'll get a lot of pulp that comes back from it don't be concerned by that, just move it out of the way and then basically get an ice cube container and then pour the consistency into an ice cube container. Now you're probably thinking, why is she telling me to put it into an ice cube container? Hang on a minute, okay? So you put it in an ice cube container and then basically you put it in the free freezer. You then, in the morning time, first thing in the morning, what, whatever time you wake up, is and this is great for key workers as well and especially you know i've had a lot of nhs and lorry drivers that i've been speaking to recently as well asking me about certain foods and this is one of my favorites for them because it's quick and easy and it lasts you a long time depending on how much you want to make so you take two ice cubes out you get a shot glass it has to be a shot glass i don't know why but it just tastes better in a shot glass and you take the two ice cubes out and you put it in the shot glass then have your glass of water you'd be astonished how quickly that melts down and then literally grab the shot and shoot it straight back you will go through different sensations in your mouth because again a lot of people don't understand their taste buds so the, the your tongue 
has different taste buds the further you go back. So the first bit of your tongue, okay, is sweet, okay? The next bit of your tongue is salt. And then the back, right in the middle, right at the back is sour. And right, right, right at the back is bitter. That's why a lot of people don't chew their food properly because if they chewed their food properly, they would actually taste the food and they would actually understand the different flavors. It's like if you have a piece of bread and you chew it, you would be amazed when you get it to liquid form in your mouth because it actually changes. Give it a go, just give it a go and let me know how you get on. So when you have this shot, you have it and you're like, Ooh, oh, you get the, you, you, you get literally this shot in your mouth and you, you, it's earthy, then it's salty, then it's sour, then it's bitter, and then it goes sweet. And it tastes absolutely gorgeous. Now, getting my kids to try this one, uh, Vigo still, I've got to work him around for it, he still is not interested, but Chioni and Bjarna love it, you know, they really, really great. And you can do this with ginger shots as well. So you can do ginger, orange, lemon, lime, um, blitz it all down, um, put some, when you do blitz it down with the orange and the lime and the lemon, put a little bit of pith, grate a little bit of pith in there, and then put it in an ice cube container, do the exact same thing, okay? And you can do them as shots, but you can also put those um, those ice cubes in your water throughout the day. So it gives it different flavors if you don't want to infuse your water at night time. Let me see if there's any other questions on there. Hello, Paula. Hello, beautiful. How's your foot? Hopefully you've listened to some of this because uh, one of my friends, she uh, she broke her foot on Friday, um, walking in the garden, she fell over the table because she wasn't looking where she's going, so she's broke, fractured her foot in three different places. Hello Sandy, no long time see. Hello Andy. And hello Laura. Now guys, if you've got any questions, please, please, please bring them across onto the live. Um, and also, the other thing I was going to add was we are going to be talking about lunches. Um, I'm going to be talking about this on Wednesday. If you have any questions, you can email at info at You can give us a call um, and also you can email as well. Or you can do it directly for our website as well, which is www.eternalbeing.co.uk. Um, follow us on Instagram um, and follow us on Facebook if you're not doing that already um, and basically you'll see loads of stuff that we're putting on there and if there's anything that you want me to go into even more depth I can do and any recipes that, you, that I've spoke about today I can email them across just give us a call, give us a text, you can text us directly as well we have a WhatsApp group on 078 and it's for all my members, but pass the word along. Um, stay safe, stay he healthy, and keep exercising. And I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Take care. Bye.